Okay, working on homemade river cane arrows. So I've got my river cane here, cut to length. You know, it's about 32 inches. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got these little nodes on the tip of them. You just take your knife, I like to just kind of, just kind of pop them off, nice and smooth. Nothing fucking crazy or anything like that. I'm not trying to like smoothen it out so much with this. I just need to get the one of those polyp type things out of the way so that we can grind them down. I'm going to sand these nodes down here on each side so it's nice and smooth so there's no drag when we release the arrows. Got them all ground down. It's nice and smooth. Now we're going to go and bend these, heat bend them, get them nice and straight and then give it a, even a little bit more finer grain sand down. Now we're just going to heat it up on the top of the stove. Just use this heat to go over where the bends are. You don't want to stick a rod up in there. You just want to get it, let it get close. Let it get warm and crispy. No, not crispy, sorry. You want to get malleable. You want it to get malleable. And you're going to go over where the bends are, where the, the visual bends are. And we're going to get it nice and warm. Whew. Maybe that was a little bit too warm. It just bends right into place. You want to be nice and careful with it. No need for lots of pressure. It is smooth as a fucking baby's ass. All right. Straightened out. So it went from this wobbly shit like this into pretty damn smooth. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Now to make the uh, nail tips. All right, for the next part, the skinny part of the river cane gonna drill into the skinny part of it that's about a quarter of an inch we're just gonna take our drill bit it's about the size of the same nail carefully drill into there Open. yep perfect okay. nail bit right here so I went ahead and cut off the top part of it where the the penny part of it and I matched the drill and uh, drill bit and the nail up the drill bit is a little bit bigger than the the nail so it'll fit in there. You'll see it'll sit right in there. You got a sick fucking kill point right there. And good for hunting and good for just target practicing. Now we're going to go glue the tips in. Okay. So this next part, putting in the tips, arrow points, I'm going to do outside. Because this JB Weld's one we use. And I'm going to do it outside because this shit stinks all the high fucking hell. So we don't need a whole bunch. God damn it, shit stinks. Come on, bitch. That's plenty, that's plenty. All right, we scored our nail up a little bit too, so it'd have something to grip onto. It's about a glob, I used a glob the size of uh, about a dime. I'm only doing two arrows because that's all I got for right now. And that's probably wasteful, honestly. So most of this shit's gonna pop right out as soon as you sink it into the tip. Okay. So, okay, there we go, right there. That looks real good. That looks real good. I hope we get this other one for the JB Weld sets. Well, this one has the, uh, you can see where it's, it kind of stops. I drilled it in. It's got that little section so I can have something to backstop into it. Let's get it up in there. Get as much in there as I can. Push it down in there. Boom. Round it off a little bit. Some of the excess off because that is a fuck ton of excess. Boom. Two tips done. That's a pretty sight. That is a pretty sight. Oh yeah. Now, next we'll move on to to the fletchings. And then we'll shoot it. And for the fletchings, just use the duct tape. And what I like to do is get this little piece of paper and you kind of just um, I marked out from an already previous uh, fletching made. I just cu cut it into this and then I just take my duct, duct tape, fold it over and then I just copy it out, mark it and then cut it out. I put it for the Nox. You just cut a groove in with your knife and then sometimes you can't see it very well but I'll go ahead and split it all the way through. Split it down just a little bit, not too hard so it opens up and has a little bit more gap to open up and then you just reinforce it with duct tape so that it won't splinter anymore. I like to color just this one fletching so I know where my cock feather is and then it's a little 
little dot up top so when you're just reaching out of your quiver you can see it real quick and just um, so you can knock it faster also, just with, with my nail tips I like to just take my file here and I just kind of you know I don't do anything special or crazy just kind of sharpen it up so it's super super sharp and uh, clean off some of the rust from the tip I just sharpen it up so it gets better penetration. Okay, power. for the final steps, we're going to actually shoot them now. I have not shot them yet. I do not know how it's going to go. I set up a fresh target down there. And uh, I'm about, about 9, 10 yards, something right now. So not too far. Close enough just to, to just shoot it and everything. Ooh, doggy. That's nice. That shit shoots straight as fuck. I'm surprised. It's tight. It's heavy. It feels that they're heavier than regular arrows, which I thought was going to be a problem at first, but it feels pretty good so far. We'll see farther distance. All right. Not too bad. This was the first one. Shot a little far to the right. Second one almost hit it, and then the third one hit right on the below the bullseye and scraped it up a little bit on this other one, but it looks good. Let's shoot it from a different... Fuck out of here. Alright, now we're gonna do a piece of leather. See if the penetration the penetration. See how tight the penetration is. Shit. Look at that. Look at how far it went in. That's fuck. About 14 inches. Through leather and then all this stuffed cardboard bullshit bullshit sweet it works great man i'll make some more do another video soon longer distance hopefully we can kill a coyote and eat the shit out of it yeah peace